on question number 49 off of your homework. Ladies and gentlemen, the next thing for your homework is you needed to know the graph of the logarithm before you could apply any transformations. This should be in your notes from last class period. So if you guys remember, the graph of the logarithmic graph was the inverse of the exponential graph, where the exponential growth looked like this. This graph looks like this. And it crosses at 1, 0. And it has a vertical asymptote, right? Correct? OK. So then we look at what are transformations. Well, we have a negative on the outside and a negative on the inside. The 2, if you guys remember when we looked at decimals, all the 2 is going to do is vertically stretch the graph, right? That's all it really does. So that's not really going to be a transformation. It's more of a dilation. So that's just kind of affecting the transformation. It actually makes it do a sharper turn on the graph. So it actually would go out like a little bit shorter. Um, but the main important thing I want you guys to understand is this is a reflection of the x-axis. So therefore, the graph now looks something like this. right? And then we have to reflect the negative. That tells you to reflect the y-axis. So now the graph needs to be over here. And then you can give us one point, because that's what I asked for, negative 1, 0. Now, since we're on a little bit of time, I would like to answer the questions that they propose.